And we will begin. Breath of Nothing the Wild. Nothing horrible happened while I was gone. Not that there are ever chaotic chats here that burn down the village. That's not Never. a thing that happens here. That's Never. totally not a thing that happens in this chat all the time. I still haven't figured out how to, like, pop this out and, uh... Like, make it bigger on my screen. I should do that at some point. Is he a clone? Waking up in a vat? It'll make sense soon enough. Maybe 50 hours in. Great. <laughs> Okay, move controls, camera. Press to crouch, okay. Always be saving. Fancy dynamic camera. That is a Sheikah slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Okay. <laughs> Link, where are your clothes? Uh, I have the same question. A mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen a device bef this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Uh, it definitely looks like a Nintendo Switch, if you ask me. Has anybody actually done a Sheikah Slate skin? Can't wear clothes in the sensory deprivation tank. Yes. It's very foggy in here. Oh good, I have trousers. I love that it prompts me to learn how to open the inventory, even though I've opened the inventory once already. Aha! I can pick her up a barrel. Amazing. Alright, I can push boxes around.
Link plays Animal Crossing confirmed. I like that. Let me just kick this trunk open. It's fine. I'm an overachiever. There's stuff that I can interact with. Here's here's my next question though. Can I like throat like huck the the barrel? Cause it says throw, but really all I'm doing is like putting it down. Difficult. And I can climb. We do a climb. And it's fine now that you have shoes, yes. I am I am hitting the, the right button to throw, yeah. Oh no, I was using I was using the one the thing. I don't know. There's no more barrels now. Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. There's more stuff to throw later. Yeah, I kinda figured. Authenticating. Sheikah Slate confirmed. What is this heckin' futuristic technology existing in Zelda land? That was it for barrels? I have destroyed all the barrels in the game ever? Also, we can, can we talk about how his shirt doesn't fit? upon high rule once again now go also i know the link is blonde but the fact that my hair is basically the same length as link's hair right now is is information i really didn't need I don't I don't need to do a link closet cosplay. Just take off without me there, Link, okay. <laughs> Sounds like we needed a photo shoot for the archive covers. We can. I have said this before, and I will say it again. This is a very beautiful game. This is a gorgeous game. Great Plateau. Oh, like, look at this. It's so pretty. What? Why, Ben? I'm concerned. I'm guessing it's a silly, like, dialogue thing. I have a stick! Found a stick on the ground. Chaos. Yes, only chaos here, Bog Witch. Wait. Ah, this one. Okay. Eileen Shroom. Common mushroom found near trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. Pick your best stick to fight with. Yes. That's kind of cool. Again, another game that I want to make all the things from. Brain, why are we like this?
They gave me a game with climbing in it. If you didn't know this was going to happen. <laughs> they gave me a game with climbing in it. <laughs> it said let go, not let's go. Legend of Journey, Adventures of the Wild, yes. Can I climb the tree? I can climb the tree. Excellent. Also, this is already better than Assassin's Creed climbing because the climb button and the jump button are not the same assignment. Look at this. Look at him hanging out here. Now, my question is... If I jump, will I take a bunch of damage? Nah, we did okay. Link. Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. No. I want to climb the trees. Link, stop screwing around and save the world. Look. <laughs> you gave me side quests. I want to do the side quests. Also, I got a whole bunch of stuff now that I wouldn't have gotten if I hadn't looked around. I got some sticks and some mushrooms. I'm going to need these. Post a big tutorial. So my my only question, Apollo, with because we've talked about this before. My only question is, if I click on my main OBS window, will it cover up um, my OBS? Making it a, a source window. That's my only question. Ooh. Goblins. Let's not fight the goblins yet. Make sure you fight the BBEG with the stick. Yes. Yes. We fight we fight Ganondorf with the stick. Acorn! Often found on the ground near trees, squirrels adore this nut, so you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. Is an independent window? I suppose I could open... Like, I could probably open the software for my capture card and view it that way. That would probably make sense. I don't know... There's the little outcropping I came from. Ah! Well, I survived that. That's useful. All right. Ben says I'm supposed to go talk to the guy naked. Well, he's not naked. He's got, like, underwear, but... Might use more resources than I want to. Yeah. It might also just lag the capture card, because then the capture card is trying to send my stuff to places. Throw a weapon.
Link plays f fetch. Yes. Yes, we play we play fetch now. All right. Ben says. Ben says we gotta try this without any stuff equipped. How do I unequip the thing? Select, remove, there we go. I mean, he does have his little, like, surfer shorts on. They look like board shorts to me. Do they look like board shorts to anybody else? They look like surf shorts to me. Ah! How do I, how do I get to the apples? There we go. Your young tree branch is badly damaged. Good. Don't don't hit the branch. Don't hit the tree with the branch. Um. Ah. Go up the tree, Link. Sheesh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, black hoodie guy just watching all of this happen. It's Link, not Tarzan, says who? Aren't you a bit chilly? Baked apple. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go around taking whatever you please. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. It is a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. A mood. I hope you'll permit me a question, if I may be so bold. Are you not chilly? Where are we? Answering a question with a question. That's fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. Taking anything you please? What do you think you are, the protagonist in an open world game? Yes. I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. Silververse. <laughs> Backwards says it's time for Silververse. Okay. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Let me gesture grandly, so that you can see the birthplace of Hyrule. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Why do I want to cosplay the old man? Why? <sighs> Alrighty, but we, we have opened the game. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put Link's clothes back on. Um, and then, we will begin our adventure. We had just talked to the old man. So we can continue on this direction. There's a burned out campfire here. And a giant woodcutter's axe! Woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees. Its formidable weight and uneven balancing makes it slow and inefficient. 
Are we going to pick it up anyway? Yes. Why? Because it is an open world game where I can pick things up. So I will pick up everything. Obviously. Can I... Okay, I can't jump high enough to get to that apple. There has to be a way. Now chop down the tree. Is that is that how this works? I can jump to get these apples though, which is useful. With the stick. Yes, chop down the the tree with the stick. All righty. Um, let's see. That's Nope. That's not what I wanted, but okay. The trees grow back. That's handy. Um, let's see. There we go. This, this pad is the one that I need. And now I can take these two apples that I couldn't otherwise get to. Can I chop that into something useful? Why, yes, I can. Wood. A portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. Fancy. Can I chop the, the stump here? Or is it just going to be a tree stump? Very well. There we go. Dude. There we go. I thought I saw something shimmer over here. Now build a house before creepers come during nightfall. Excuse me! Excuse me, sir, with your tree branch who's coming to attack me. That's a heck of a kickback there. Right off the cliff. I'm sorry, did you want something? This battle music is like the most chill battle music I have ever experienced. It is like the Muzak of battle music. He wants his lucky branch! Give it back! <laughs> no. Only Mordor. Only Mordor. Bokoblin horn. Severed horn of a bokoblin, a creature often encountered in the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but it can be tossed into a stew to make some critters, uh, to, with some critters to make an elixir. Interesting. So it's seasoning, is what I'm hearing. Bokoblin. There's a cave. I found a cave. <laughs> Fuck work. I want to be here. How do? How like? I like it. It's a good time. <laughs> I am exploring. I've already been yelled at once for not doing the things fast enough. Um, we're doing we're doing well. This portable fighter starter breaks after one use, but it can create a long-lasting flame if you use it near firewood. Excellent. Can I craft it into something that can be multi-use? That's my, my next question. But yes, as seems to be my customary issue, um, I need to know how I can make all of these things. I want to make all of the things in this game. As per usual. Green rupee. A single rupee. Its soft green glow puts a smile on your face. I didn't know that you could... That rupees glowed.
Also played some Tiny Tina's Wonderland, and you can multi-class. Um, and I thought about you because you say you always multi-class. I multi-class a lot more than I used to, that's for sure. Um, okay, so apparently I am having difficulty telling the difference between the trigger and the bumper on the thing. Because, like, if I look down at the bottom and it says right to throw... My brain parses that icon as the right trigger, not the right bumper. So I have to fix that in my brain. Because it wants me to push the right bumper, not the right trigger. In order to actually huck the, the boulder. I cannot sneak up on the butterfly, apparently. I missed that opportunity. Welcome to Nintendo Switch. Yes. Apparently. What else can I find here? Ooh. Butterfly. No. No, we cannot stock the butterfly yet. Okay. Hello. Are you going to attack me? Yes. Choo-choo jelly, a gelatinous substance that came from a choo-choo. It's u unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. Fancy. Wait until you try to go back to a normal controller. It messes with your head. See, the Xbox 360 controller is still the default controller in my head. So, like... Ah, yes! I can, I can cut the grass. I forgot that this was a thing. Can I get a scythe? So, one of my favorite things to watch on uh, on YouTube for a while, and if, if this is not on TikTok, they are missing an opportunity. Um, but, so, I got really into tiny houses and tiny living for a while, and it still really hasn't gone away. Um, but one of the cool things that came out of that was that there were a lot of people who had these really small lawns, right? Because they had a small house and a small little lot that the house was on. And so instead of buying a regular mechanical um, or uh, gas mower, right, they would actually use either the old-style push mower that has the bladed barrel, or they would just, honest to God, cut their lawn with a scythe. And it made me so happy... Like, it's so satisfying to watch somebody cut their lawn with a scythe. Like, it's a great time. It is a great time. So if you want something that has that sort of visual satisfaction kind of feel to it, uh, look it up, because it's cool. It's a great time. Apollo, thank you very much for the lurk. Zelda Breath of the Cutting Grass, yes. Can I get can I get rupees for cutting the grass, maybe? A lizard found throughout Hyrule. It's a bit slow to react some at times, but if given a chance to escape, it will dart off quickly. Cook it with monster parts for a speed boosting elixir. Fancy. There was something else that would work with with critters. It was the the Bokoblin horn, right? Can I use the tree branch to make stuff? That's why I'm picking them up, because I'm used to them being crafting components, not... Ah! Restless Cricket. A very energetic cricket. Cook it with monster parts to create a stamina recovery elixir. Nice. Finding all kinds of cool crafty stuff. Because as far as I can tell, it's counting the branch as a melee weapon... And is not putting it into the the crafting list. Hmm. 
I didn't mean to hit the tree. We may as well cut it down now. Ooh, I got an acorn. Sweet. Since we've got some wood, we can take some more wood. And do the more crafting. Later, when we learn how to craft. Another restless cricket. Oh no, I missed that one. That's alright. I'm sure there will be more. I look forward to a faster weep on. That is easier to cut the grass with. No, 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 no! Heck! Ma'am? I'm not quick enough on the uptake to see the... the crickets when they appear. I just noticed that I have a temperature gauge, too. I forgot that that was a component of this game. No? No acorns? No apples? Nothing? Just a tree? Okay. I guess that's alright. You're a component of this game! I am. I am, actually. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, I was gonna go explore this ruin. Since we're here. Really? Rude. Roasted bird drumstick. That's been a uh, raw bird drumstick that's been cooked to a crisp skin and all. It's void of seasoning, but it has a simple, accessible taste. Restores more hearts than the raw variety. I did. I did figure out how to do the throwing. I did the throwing. It's because I thought it meant uh, right trigger and not right uh, bumper. So that was the that was the difficulty that I was having before. Ooh. Okay. So I can press and hold, I can slash. We we learn and Can I collect some of these flowers? Take them to Aerith. Wait, wrong game. Do 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 do. Ah! Apparently my aim needs to be better here. Our modest fellowship expands. Pow! If we have enough grain from the forest, can it be bred from of the wild? Dang it! Dang it, pow! Why have you done this? Do the pungent with you. Oh my gosh. Thank you very much for returning as an adventurer here in Mountain Shade Village. What? You don't like my Final Fantasy VII reference? It was a good reference! Come on! I was going for Toast of the Wild, but bread comes first. This is true. This is true. Bread does come first, if you are making toast. Pow, how are you today? It is wonderful to see you. Also, I was remembering us playing uh, biped together the other day. Uh, the other day, I was remembering us playing biped together. It was a long time ago that we played biped, but it was a good time. 
Hobson <laughs> villager, I see you. Alrighty. There's something in the water. Is it a fog? It is a fog. Look, look, we found a fog. Search. Ancient shaft. A machine part used in ancient machinery. It's incredibly sturdy and not made of any recognizable material. May come in handy someday. Breath of the Wild player follows the main quest. Cherny. Oh, look, grass. Maybe there's a single rupee in there. Look. <laughs> I've been playing too many crafting games, okay? <laughs> this is what I'm used to. I've been playing too much sandbox. There's a fog over here. Excuse me, sir. Glonk. Where did his... Where did his club go? There it is. What is a main quest? Sounds fake, right? Boko Club. A crude bokoblin club made to clobber small prey is essentially a stick, so its durability is low. Still does better than a stick. Ooh, what was that, Bokoblin? Can I, can I just drop the... Ooh, focus. Yes. Yes, I'm sure it did break. That was kind of the point. Now, can I cut the grass with the club? No. Good. Good game mechanics. Where did the frog go? I want to catch the frog! Did I lose the opportunity? I have never Breath of the Wild, but after Pokemon Arceus, I feel like I might want to try. I have wanted to play this game for a long time, and now that I have this wonderful gift of a Switch from all of you, I can actually play it. I am excited! You know, a great evil is taking over the land, right? Uh, I hear... I hear rumors. I hear that might be a thing. Uh, we haven't actually... We haven't actually learned that in-game. We just got the... You are our light, Link. That's all we got. So we don't... We don't know... Yet, that we are the hero of Hyrule. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> but I saw a fwog. I want to catch the fwog. You're our only hope, young grass farmer. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Fine. I'll go off to the thing. I wanted to explore stuff! It's like, look at this! Look at this cool... The Temple of Time! See? There's a Stargate in here. Oh wait, no. Ancient Screw! Screw used in ancient machi machinery. Made of an unknown material, and no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show signs of wear. More weird ancient stuff. Time gone by. Yeah. 
and just want to explore. Exploring is easier once you get the tutorial out of the way? Well, fine. I love that we can knock his club out of his hand. Good mechanics. Love good mechanics like that. What, I didn't just kick that one? Rude. All right, we've got our Hylian trousers now. Special pants, yes. We got the special pants. Apparently, throwing the barrels does not allow them to break open. Ah! Is there... do I have a map? There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. I'm glad you caught that. I don't really need to go fight the bull goblins right now. I am gonna stop if there is another fog, though. I found a shiny thing. I found a bunch of shiny things. Hello, shiny things. Arrows. Are you gonna shoot at me? Probably. So we do a sneak. No battle music! Ow! Ow! Wog! First play, you're gonna get addicted! Dan Villa, hello! Welcome into Mountain Shade Village. It's wonderful to have you here. Hot-footed frog! We caught the frog. A quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. Excellent. Um, I... I don't know. We will see. Uh, this is also my first Legend of Zelda game ever. So, I have not... I have not played many Legend of Zelda games, uh, at all. I've played, like, five minutes of a couple of games... Um, like, I played five minutes of, of Ocarina of Time because my cousins had, uh, an N64. I didn't grow up with consoles. Um, so I have not played any of the rest of the Zelda franchise. Um, but I am excited to give this one a try. The fact that I have this at all is a wonderful wonderful gift from my community so i if nothing else i'm very thankful to my community for making this possible to play this and uh animal crossing both but i love open world games open world sandbox style games are my favorites um like i love the long dark and witcher 3 and Skyrim and all of those kinds of games. That's that's my jam. That's what I love doing the most. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition was another one that really fell into that category for me. Um, so this feels like it's basically going to fall into that same category. And I'm super excited to, to get into it.
Okay, I'm here. Do I have to, like, interact with the thing? Is there something... No? Was I supposed to go somewhere else? Is there a cave? There's a cave. Okay. Where am I? Oh, I'm over there. I was like, what did you start climbing, Link? Oh, I was supposed to run at the Boat Goblin. I ended up behind him. Alright. But, uh, when I was younger, I watched a web series called Legend of Neil, which is, of course, based on the original Legend of Zelda. And, uh, it was a fun time. I enjoyed that a lot. Place the Sheikah Slate into the pedestal. I just got it, though. As long as you get get there, basically that's how this game works. Fair. Sheikah Tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. That's encouraging. Village well! Alrighty, pal. I see you with that village well. For anybody who is new or just passing through, village well is an all redeem. Get yourself some water. We will get to that shortly. I saw that part two was coming out soon. That's going to be fun. Great Plateau Tower. Distilling local information. Regional map extracted. Nice. Get a little info download there. And the adventure begins. Remember. What am I, Aang? You must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. Welp. That sounds dangerous. No, you are Link. I've been asleep for a hundred years! Alright, big scary, big scary beast thing we have discovered. The main quest. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. This looks exciting. This also looks like something that I could make in resin really well. That would be fun. Can you imagine putting like a key charger? Platform into something like that, and it would light up every time you put your phone down on it. That would be an awesome key charger pad to have. 
I would love that. I was gonna say, how do we- how are we supposed to get up and down from here? Do they just assume that everybody's gonna climb up and down on these... towers? As long as a 20-story tower doesn't rise every time you try to charge it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Maybe there's already one? I mean, I haven't seen them, but that's not to say that they don't exist, because, like, I haven't really gotten into... Ow. Ow. That was a very long fall. My, my, it would seem we have quite an enigma here. The tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power was woken quite suddenly. If you don't mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I mean, I'm a little concerned who you might be, old man, but sure, I'll tell you. Just to eat the apples and nuts, you'll be fine. Exactly. I heard a voice. Well now, a voice, you say? And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of the atrocity in shrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try and jump I off... I require second breakfast. Well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Hello, Tomes! Welcome in! I do. I do require second breakfast. It is lovely to have you here in Mountain Shade Village. Welcome. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Paraglider? Oh, piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Worry not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Let's see now. How about I trade you trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? All right. Um, let me show you something. Oh. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Welp. I guess. So, now we can go to the adventure log here. Finding loot? Not interested. So my marker is still with the old man here. It's very odd. 
Go on, fetch me any treasure you find inside that shrine. I'm looking forward to your successful return. Why is the marker still on him, though? That's weird. Because I don't have another adventure marker. How do I get over there? I guess we can just jump, right? This isn't Assassin's Creed? Yeah, thankfully, at least in Assassin's Creed 2, you were able to, to swim. Welcome to the Hamlet. Tomes, thank you so much for that follow. It's lovely to have you here. Welcome in. If you'd like to introduce yourself as a new villager here in Mountain Shade Village, let us know what slice of the globe you happen to be from. It's lovely to have you. Apparently I cannot push this giant metal block yet. Or at all, perhaps. Cheek is late confirmed. Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. You're from Belgium! Well, hello over there in Belgium. If you can't tell, I happen to be American. I am in the Chicagoland area in A the northern midwest of the u.s little hello and welcome to mountain shade village as well if you'd like to introduce yourself let us know what slice of the globe you happen to inhabit it's wonderful to have you here check this screen for hints that will surely aid on your journey To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Omen Ao. In the name of the goddess something. Do the thing. Omen Ao Shrine. Alright. What am I doing here? Or of the constellations? You're from the Netherlands! Always love to see people discover Breath of the Wild for the first time. Yes, this is not only my first playthrough of Breath of the Wild, but my first foray into Legend of Zelda at all. So, it's a, it's a good time. We're having a good time with it. We have a bunch of folks here in Mountain Shade Village who happen to be from uh, the Netherlands. So you are in good company. Welcome in. Distilling rune. Okay. Get more of this information download. Magnesis. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Grab onto metallic objects using a magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis rune. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Hence the block outside. That would make sense. Ah, fancy. No, I can't use it on the... Nope. 
No magnet surfing, I guess. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I can pick it up, but I can't be standing on it. Alright, and so this is through controls on the D panel. So that's useful. Good to know. Welcome to the Hamlet. Yasma, hello and welcome to Mountain Shade Village. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for that follow. It's wonderful to have you as a new villager. If you'd like to introduce yourself, let us know what slice of the globe you happen to be from. It's always wonderful to meet the new villagers as they come in. Blech. That's good. If I fall off the platform, it uh, it drops the thing. I lose my concentration. That's good. I appreciate that. All right, let's get up these stairs here. And we will push this towards the wall, maybe? Ha! <laughs> That's just entertaining. Do, 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 do. Puzzles! Yes, we, we use in the brain. We're doing, we're doing the big brain times here. Alright. We will let go of that for now. Can I, can I just drop this on the dude over here? I can! I don't know if it damaged him, but I can drop it on him. Huzzah! It did, in fact. Oh, this is a lot of fun. Alrighty. Perfect. I mean, I can probably do it that way, but I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to just take the platform. But I don't wanna. I wanna use the cubes. There we go. Supposed to? That doesn't sound like the churning way. I know, right? Who plays games the way you're supposed to? Is there more shiny stuff for me to find anywhere? Apparently not. Was diverted to help with a leaky sewer line problem after returning from town. Oh dear. Hopefully your adventures went well for you, though. Examine. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Oman Ao, the creator of this trial. 
I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of Ganas Hylia, and dedicated to helping those who would defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of Ganas Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Alrighty. Yes, I had a feeling there would be a secret chest. Oh. Seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? Paraglider, please. How did you know? Clairvoyance. Oh, or perhaps just something similar. If one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. Yes! On my very first playthrough. Hello, Squeezana. It is lovely to have you here in Mountain Shade Village. Welcome in. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh. The appearance of these towers and the awakening of this shrine... It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. Squeezana, welcome as a villager of Mountain Shade Village. If you'd like to introduce yourself, let us know what slice of the globe you happen to inhabit. It is lovely to have you here. What do you mean? It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. And the great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. So I need more now? That wasn't the deal. That wasn't the deal. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always been best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Are you joking? Oh, I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. Hmm. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. Oh, that's the tower's... Identifier, okay. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Or so I heard quite a long time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. <laughs> I'm slacking as a mod, yes. <laughs> Hiding out in the background, Magic Sheep. You're not doing anything else important right now. My goodness. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see if we can go back in here. Can I go back? And we can go find the, the hidden treasure chest. Yeah. 
Your mods are not performing their duties if there's not at least one hiding. Yes, I agree. Oh, it's nice to know that it resets itself when I come back. Yes, Dan, that's what, uh, that's what Ben was saying. It was that there was a hidden chest. Though I will say, um, while I appreciate the tips and stuff, I am a very story-focused player for the most part, so please be mindful um, to not give any spoilers in the chat, um, because I would like to actually get to experience uh, the game as best I can for myself. Let's not drop that giant block on me. Work is busy today? Oh, I'm sorry. That's a horrible time, Magic. All right. It can work, right? <laughs> Loot story cutting grass. Yes. Exactly. Hey, I got some cool stuff from cutting the grass. Admin week, meetings, meetings, meetings. Uh, well, at least they aren't having them right behind your desk. On the dev floor, where they're not supposed to. <laughs> Hurry! Change the title to Cutting Grass. Yes. New do 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 do. Maybe maybe tomorrow our stream title will be Cutting Grass. That seems appropriate. Aha! Aha! So it actually wasn't in the final room. It was closer than I thought it was. I was like, it has to be in here. No one spoiled Journey Cutting Grass tomorrow, right? <laughs> Breath of the Wild Fresh Cut Grass Journey Playthrough. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, we like our yard work in Hyrule. Yes, so I have heard. So I have heard. And it automatically equips. Good to know. Good to know. Um, here's where I'm using my triggers. Okay. Awesome. I also appreciate that Link has a waist quiver. I like that a lot. That makes me happy. The belt quiver is a great time. Only auto-equipped because you didn't have one. May need to equip in the future. Okay. That's good to know. See, this is another thing. Like, I could totally make a wall sconce like that. I know how. Might have to consider a contro uh, controller with a battery. Yeah, I was thinking about that as well. Or at least another set of Joy-Cons. I don't know... I don't know which which way we want to go. But will your landlord approve you of putting those sconces in your apartment? I mean, a good point. 
I ow. That is a very long spear. I'm very concerned. It is now a headless skeleton. Excuse me. No. This is not what we're doing here. Bokoblin horn, Bokoblin fang. Tooth obtained for a Bokoblin. It is worn down and not very sharp. Still pretty hard. Cook it along a critter to make an elixir. Okay, so we've got some more elixir parts here. I am concerned by the skeletal Bokoblins. Traveler's spear. Used mainly by travelers to fend up wolves and other beasts. Easy to hold and simple to use. Um... I don't remember how to get to my... That's not what I needed. Yes! I am also playing Stream Readers, so if you'd like to join us, you're welcome to. Bokoblin Arm! A skeletal arm that keeps moving even after it's severed from its body. Kind of gross to strap it to your back, but it'll do in a pinch. Old, fragile, so it's quick to break. Um, best weapon. That's not what I needed. Thank you for that skill that I don't even know what it is yet. No. Yep, just swinging an arm around. No big deal. No. Uh, bumper. That's right. Uh, I'm so used to other stuff, like, no. Also not, not, not what I wanted. Bumper. And throw, thank you. Now take the bow coblin arm. Does it still squirm around? It does still squirm around while it's strapped to my back. That's hilarious. All right. We're going to hang on to the spear, though. I like the spear. If I open the inventory, I can drop them easier, yeah. Ooh, that's fast. It's so fast. Do I really, like, I feel like I'm going to need branches for something at some point. Are they not a crafting unit? Like, is that not a thing? Just keep one? Because that's the thing, I can't tell... I can't tell if I'm going to need them at some point or not. What? Come on. Because I'm used to playing the long dark where I need sticks for everything. So only things you'd cook. Okay. Fossilized resin with a caramel-esque sheen to it. Been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Excellent. I am making the chest float. It's magnetic. Or rather it is, it is ferrous and therefore I can... Control it with the magnets. Hello, weird bat friend. And is trying to attack me. Keesy wing. Keys? Keys wing? Wing of a keys. Covered with many, very short, sharp fur. 
Not much use by itself, but you can mix it with critters to make it something useful. Perfect. I came over here because apparently I can pick these. Hyrule herb. This healthy herb grows abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. Do, 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 do. There we go. Thank you. I can't cut grass with the spear. I still want to, but I can't. Um. All right. What else? Uh, we were told to go up to the top of the tower again. It actually reminds me of um. What's the stuff I'm thinking of? One of the... Dang it! I was not trying to get into the water. There we go. Um, maybe it was Black Book that we were playing? It reminds me of the, the like, Adam's Flower or whatever from Black Book. Oh wait, can I use this as like a... Maybe a... Bridge? No, not quite, huh? I was hoping. Oh yeah, we. D I was trying to like push these guys around before. I never did drop them. Apparently that one is too far away, though. And smack things with it? Oh, like the the metal plate. I was hoping I could turn it into a bridge. Thank you for the caffeinate, Tipsy Tiger. And the hydrate. Um, you checked for my snack, so I'm guessing that you also wanted to redeem Take a Bite. Uh, but I had it paused from the beginning of stream because I didn't have a snack at the beginning of stream. I'm sure it'd be a great bridge if it was long enough, yeah. I can't seem to get it positioned in a way that it would actually work as a bridge. Dragon! Needs more damage. Exactly. Exactly! I'm glad you understood. Metal rock will not break. Well, why not? Opal, a valuable ore that gives off mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell, contains the power of water. Very nice.
And there's fish over here. I assume that there will be fishing for me to do at some point. Just bring the giant rock with you, just in case. I know, right? You can fish with a bow and arrow? Okay. Well, let's give that a try. See how bad I am with my aim here. There we go. Have a good one, Dan Villa. Or Den Villa. It is lovely to have you. An ordinary fish that can be found all over Hyrule. It can be eaten raw, but cooking it amplifies its healing abilities. Nice. Uh, let's do... What am I looking for? I want a save menu. Mmm. A mud pit. That looks exciting. Plus button is the save menu. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, I was looking in the minus button menu. Which is the the Sheikah slate? I was like, it has to be has to be one of these, right? Oh, hey, look, another submerged rock. Hmm. Apparently, those are not metal trunks up there. This is where the yeah, this is where the metal bridge would work, huh? If only I could make a bridge. If only. Ah. Wait, didn't we have another one that I moved around over here? Does it reset when I walk away from it? Is that the deal? That weirds me out. But if I leave a zone, it'll just reset. That's... I'm not a fan. I want to be able to make persistent stuff. I don't... I'm not a fan of that. The fairies come and reset it, yes. Um... Also, the fact that I can't, like, rotate stuff that I'm holding is weird. As far as I can tell. rock. That's cool. Bundle of five ice arrows. Ice arrows break apart on impact, freezing objects in the immediate area. Incredibly effective against hot things. All right. And a fire arrow. Fire arrows break apart on impact, igniting objects in the immediate area. Incredibly effective against cold things. As one might imagine. All right.
right. So now, let's go back to the tower here. Run our little butt off. Lurk! I wondered, I wondered when it was going to be time for you to take a nap, Apollo. Please go take care of yourself. Enjoy some rest. And I'm sure that we will see you again soon. Thanks for hanging out today. Appreciate you being here. Enjoying some time with the village. I don't want to climb all the way back up that tower. Old man. Also, we only have one flint on us right now, which is a little frustrating. Yeah, I can fast travel, that's true. But it was right there. It was right there. Hang on. Is there really not, like, any access point to the tower, like, from the ground floor? Yeah, no, I know I didn't activate the, the fast travel. So there's no, like, elevator in this structure? No, I trust you. Like, my thing is, like, from an environmental design standpoint, I want there to be... I want there to be an elevator at the bottom of the tower. Like there was in the shrine. It's not OSHA compliant. Yes, I'm gathering this. <laughs> well, you certainly took your time. Did you forget how to travel instantly? No, I just did. I appeared on the teleportation panel. Old man. No, I remember. Now then. I wanted you to join me up here so you could see this vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know how about the scope in your Sheikah slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mar mark on the map. We did this. The pins on your map serve as reference points to your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. How do you know? Oh, well, just a few tricks I've picked up after many, many years in the wild. You may take my advice or leave it. Yes, Breath of the Wild today. All the things. Go ahead and take a look if you feel so inclined to do so. Uh, so now I needed to... No. No. Where's the... <whistles> Not what I needed. I forget where the, the Sheikah Slate is. Yeah, I, I remember that being for my horse. I just don't... I'm not familiar with the controls yet. That is the biggest bit. You're going to hate the whistle soon? I'm sure. Uh, I don't remember my controls. <laughs> Heck. Um, crouch, change weapon. Oh, minus. Minus key is for the slate. Okay. Oh, press for scope. Okay. That's right. Press for scope.
Why with the shaky cam? Who decided I needed camera movement in this heckin' game? I do not appreciate this game. You think it's motion control? Okay. I will have to have a look at that, because this is... Chica's light noise is my default n notification message, and I was so confused while you played this. <laughs> Nintendo, why? Uh, seriously, though. Seriously, though. All right. We got to get out of that. We got to fix that. Yes, nerd boy. It's full of combat. I I know. I know it is. It's a combat game. Off. Yeah, I have to do combat. This is not a farming game that I have to do combat suddenly in. That was specifically Stardew, okay? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Star like, I went into Stardew thinking that it was going to be a farming game. And now, every time I have to do combat, you're like, this is this is combat. You have to do combat. Thank you. <laughs> Sheesh. We are enjoying this hacking game. It's a good time. Is much different than previous. This is our f first time playing this game. What do you mean it looks different than previous? Wait, why were you harvesting wheat earlier then? I wasn't... I wasn't harvesting wheat. I was harvesting crickets. Honestly, it's easier to, like, find... Jeez, that's so sensitive. Why? I hate this. Like, we turned off motion controls and it's still wonky. Then previous games played on the channel? I don't know why, because it definitely has higher resolution than some of the other games that I've played. Are you sure that your resolution didn't get better? Because I have a sneaking suspicion that it might be your resolution that it has improved. It's like everything is in focus. Yeah. Uh, where is the other pin? Oh, is it in another region? It's in another region. Okay. There's a camera sensitivity section. Okay, we'll go look at that in a moment. Hi, Magic Sheep! Welcome back! Uh. It's fine. I didn't- I didn't need to breathe or anything. That looks like it's far away. That might be in the same region as me. Let's let's try it here. Breathing is for weebs. I thought breathing was for the wilds. Is it not? Is that not what we're? Is it? Breathing is for the wilds. No. To the pungent with you. <laughs> Is that not what we're doing? I thought for sure that was what we were doing. 
Yes. No, I figured that part out already. The problem is that I can't tell what's in this region and what's not in this region. You have banned. Hey. Banning me from my own stream. Sheesh. Yeah, because, like, this one is outside the region. So I'm trying to find the ones that are, like, in this... With the pumpkin head. Thank you for that. I think I might turn off... I might turn off the sound... On the, the summer party... And a couple of the other ones. Why is there a spaceship? Excuse me? Why is there a spaceship? There we go. I was like, there has to be one over kind of in this area. It's something far worse. I mean, it's red. So I kind of assumed. All right. This direction. There's a mountain range in the way. This is worse than the ocularum puzzle in... Uh, Dragon Age. Didn't he say there were four more, or did he say there were three more? I don't know. We're gonna stick with that for now. I'm so glad that I didn't just wander off the edge of this tower while I had that uh, up to my face. Having trouble finding the shrines? Help me out here. I just remembered something that may help you. You can review some of the abilities you've learned in the pause screen. Okay. If you're searching for shrines, use the scope on your Sheikah Slate. We, we did that already, but okay. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, at this point, everybody, before we go off and find the rest of the shrines, um, I think now is a good time for us to take our stretch break. Ancient Se Sheikah pause screen, yes. So, let's get a move on here and get to the, I think I just saved, but we're going to save again. Um, let's get to our next shrine. Um, which one do we want to go to here? Let's have a quick look. It looks like purple is probably going to be the closest to where we are going. Um, and it looks like maybe we are going to have to head out a little bit, maybe? Let's see if we can go this way here. So let's place... Let's place a little waypoint here. So we will do blue. No, you saved too much. No! No! The horror! Um, alrighty, so... Can I... Let me... Let me out. Do I have a... That looks interesting. That's not what I wanted. Stop it. Stop it! Um, before we continue on, I want to maybe drop a, a pin right there. No, stop! Only go! Only go. Um, all right. Donk. Ah! Alrighty. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen, but I, uh, I had to. I had to.
Okay, but the fact that... The fact that the next, like, hint was... was remember that if you take too much fall damage you will die oh no yes it does not control stuff that's not on the switch i can give you that back though so that you can have the the goose honks, and I will give you the mouse pushback as well. Because that works, but remember, you are in fact a fragile bag of meat. Yes. Alright. Purple. Purple is where we're going here. It uses an awful lot of stamina to swim. Wait, there's a red X where I died. Is that going to be important at some point? Is it going to, like, take my... Like, am I going to end up dropping equipment places? Never forget, yeah. Rip it in peace. Dang it, Ben! <sighs> Why have you done this? I'm just going to run my little butt all over the place. But this old man who keeps making it harder for me to get this paraglider. I can't believe you've done this. All right, we get another ancient screw here. that I don't like that I don't like it at all leave me alone please we think he would have given it to me I don't know no you guys go away heckin rude do not try and fight it I wasn't planning to try and fight it but I do have to get out of the way. Because we gotta fight these keys here. Just, uh, just ignore me. Nothing to see here. Yes, so many things to pick up. So many things. Ja Baij Shrine. Do, 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 do. Ah! Traveler's sword, a very common sword often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. Well, all right then. I'll pick up the rest of these bokoblin fangs. Alrighty. 
Alrighty. And we have unlocked the shrine, so we can go through the shrine. The difference between winning and losing a battle often comes down to strategy. Thank you for that very helpful tip there. To you who set foot in this shrine, I am Ja Baij, in the name of the goddess, and offer you this trial. Bomb trial. That sounds encouraging. I want these lamps. Ooh. TSA is not going to like that. Yeah. Bombs are even better for fishing. Less aiming than a bow and an arrow. Yeah. This magical liquid that distills data into my my tab here. Bomb that can be detonated remotely. The force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. Round and cube bombs use whichever is best for the situation. That fluid is the ancient internet? Yes, apparently. Oh, there we go. So if I have space in front of me, I can, like, set it down right in front of me. Don't kick the bomb. Why not? <laughs> Gently kick it. Exactly. Traveler's Claymore, a basic two-handed sword often wielded by aspiring adventurers. This immense weight can knock enemy shields right out of their hands. Useful. And things volatile. It's magical. It's fine. We're doing great. Anything down there? No? Okay. Got to journey blowing themselves up. Look! I can go all the way over here if I have to. Oh, that looks like it's going to be fun. Uh, 
Which one was this? Top? Yeah. Ooh, a ride. Yes, apparently. What does that one do? We found some amber. Very nice. Okay, so then I can go over here. I think the other one, the one that has the, the ball transferring between the two, that one seems to be just showing off the mechanic. Like, there doesn't seem to be anything else going on with that. Can I climb these? Why can I not climb the ancient lamps? I want to be able to climb them. Also, I will point out that there were two hidden chests in here. No climb, only look. Why? Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. This is another one of those things that I could totally make. May the goddess smile upon you. Also, we get a full heal from the shrine, apparently. That's nice. Ah, which is why this entryway was blocked, because now we can use our handy-dandy yep. bomb effect to throw a bomb and have it roll away. Come here, yo. Bomb soccer, yes, apparently. Oh, here's a question. Nope. Oh, no, it's that one. No. Pick up, pick up, pick up. No. <laughs> He's going to get me. Well, shoot.
I love that you got blocked by the auto mod and so then you shout it again. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. This is why we can't have nice things. Remember, this is the internet, and we can't have nice things. I wonder if I can use it as, um... Ah! It blew up the whole wall! Oh no! I dropped it in the wrong place! I'm sorry! You are ban heavy today. Did you get your coffee? Have you had your caffeine yet this morning, Magic Sheep? Also, I thought of you the other day, Magic Sheep. Um... I apologize, dictator streamer. Yes. Um, but I thought of you the other day. I accidentally purchased some caffeinated water. Um, because I didn't realize that it was the caffeinated bubbly. Um, I thought it was just the regular flavored carbonated water. But apparently it is the caffeinated kind. And I remembered... Um... Having a conversation with you about the caffeinated flavored water at some point. It was a long time ago. What? Who did I set off? Hello? I hear enemy music. St oh, jeez! Wow, that guy has a long reach. Okay. Fine. I'll just keep going over here, I guess. Aggressive, almost jazzy piano music. Yeah, I was saying this is like the Muzak of battle music. Okay. You go to the disappointed jazzy piano when you die. All right. Disappointed jazzy piano is your new band name. A good choice. I, why are we falling off the rock? Excuse me? No, leave me alone! I wasn't doing nothing! Bees? Yes. Anytime I can use... Environmental... As a way to... Lime. So many options for environmental kills. I am gathering that, and it is fantastic. I am here for it. Am I being silly? There's a way to climb this, right? Can I not? 
There we go. I was like, there has to be a way to climb it. Oh, they have little slingshots. Hysterical. Aye! Oh no, they have a bow. Okay. For some reason, I thought they had a slingshot for a second there. Traveler's bow is a five. Boko bow is a four. So we will keep the traveler's bow equipped. This looks like a thing that I can cut. Not that one. Yeah, I think it did. I think it did. Oh, really? Bombs are great for cutting. I made myself tired. Um, let's see here. Let's go back to the spear. I still really like the spear overall. More Pokoblin horn. Ooh! Coarser bee honey. Honey straight from the hive is chock full of nutrients. It's true. Cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential for these nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. Nice. Can I... can I cook at this fire? Oh, I can sit by the fire. It, can I just not... do I not know how to cook yet? Is that the deal? Lady Ayla, thank you for that. Hydrate. I've got a whole bunch of crafty stuff and I don't have a way to use it yet. I do wonder though... Like if I rest by a fire... If I go over here, and I rest by this fire, will I heal? Zoom! That looks like an apple. Yeah, maybe they're rotten apples. Maybe that's the deal. Yes. Heckin' spin! I did not, however, heal any damage. I'm gonna move this Boko Club over here. Your woodcutter's axe is badly damaged! Oh no. No healing, just passage of time? Okay. I don't really need... Guys... Yeah, I gotta eat. I gotta eat the foods. All right, we're going to go for this yellow marker now, if we can. That looks like a different sort of mushroom. Work lurk! Sprouts Revenge! It is so good to see you, Sprouts. I hope that work goes well for you. Thanks so much for stopping in today. 
Rush room. Mushroom that can grow almost anywhere but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. Nice. Also, if anybody does not know our lovely friend Sprouts, you should. Sprouts is a lovely streamer. Go give him a follow if you haven't. That looks like an interesting place, but also full of goblins. I think I saw another. Yes, I did. No. I think the hardest thing about swapping between... Most interesting places have goblins. I'm I'm learning this. Swapping between my Xbox 360 controller and the Nintendo controller is that they're kind of a mirror image button layout. Stamina shroom. A green mushroom that grows near trees in the forest. It's chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release a stamina restoration property. Very good. Boss is apparently home with COVID. Thankfully, I did not see him at all in the last week. Tested negative on my own test, but good gravy. What a way to start the week. Yes. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I am glad that you are all right, Tipsy. But what a frustration. Also, the fact that they give you grief about uh, wearing a mask <laughs> and then turns out the boss ends up with COVID. The combination of those two things. I don't wish illness on anyone, but like... Yeah, the A, B, X, Y switch also drives me crazy. There's a shield just sitting here. And some other kind of weapony thing. Is there somebody in this little hut here? Mmm, tastes like irony. Yeah, but the combination of those two facts by them, by one another. Baked apple. The old man's diary. I feel like maybe I'll learn something, but... We'll leave it alone for now. Read it. Why? Why? What if he wants privacy? It's valuable information. We can also just like go over here and talk to the old man. Fancy that. So we meet again. <laughs> Such a nice adventure. <laughs> Expecting privacy after breaking and entering. It doesn't have a door on it. I did no breaking. <laughs> I thought this tree here might make for some good firewood. However, getting a tree to fall exactly where you want to is quite an art. The trick is to turn your hips so that they face where you want the tree to land. So, I see you found my axe. Why not help me out and give it a, good, a few swings? I'm working up quite a sweat here, but these old bones could use a break. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Hilarious, though. As you walk away, I threaten you with this bomb here. Breaking trust. Listen. Is there a way that I can repair stuff? Because, like, this is, this is damaged. So, like, can I... Can I do a repair? <laughs> You're gonna make me work? Pulls out bomb. 
exactly. Um. Well, so much for cutting down this tree, old man. If I swing on it, will it fall down now? There was another one in his house. You are correct. No cut, only climb. Only climb. Only slash. I wonder if I go talk to him again now that it's broken, if he'll say something. What is it? What are you doing? This body of mine isn't what it used to be. Recovering for a from a bout of hard work takes a while. If you're hungry, I have an empty pot you can use to cook yourself a meal. Got any tips? Simply open your inventory and grab a hold of your ingredients and toss them in. Try to consider how the ingredients will complement one another. You can even make a dish that increases your stamina. It's all about being creative and trying different things. Uh, so if I stand here... Timberton, yes. Hello, Prism. How are we today? Welcome back into Mountain Shade Village. So annoyed at my work for not taking this seriously. The, yeah... Illness, I agree. Um, inventory. Mushroom. We had something. Cricket. Cricket had. Yes. Dubious food. Too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues forth from this heap. Eating it won't hurt you, though. Probably. Just cooking dinner with the stream in the background. Does not work well for me, though. Put the timer on and I never actually put the rice on to cook. Oh, dear! I'm liking the game all right so far. Meal ingredients by selecting it from your inventory and then selecting recipe. Old man wants to talk to me. I love how it's blurred, right? If you're moved by any wild culinary inspirations, feel free to cook yourself a meal using my pot over there. I cooked something. Hmm. Let's take a look at what you cooked up there, shall we? They say failure is a stepping stone to success, right? Perhaps they were referring to your culinary shortcomings. In case you were wondering, I know you were poking around in my diary. That said, if you do end up figuring out how to create that dish I w wrote about, my warm doublet is all yours. I didn't read it! <laughs> I just looked at it. If it's raw meat you're after, try hunting in the Forest of Spirits. You'll find it in the northern part of the plateau. Well, if you already accused me of the crime, I may as well go figure out what it is. May want to sticking uh, to cooking food separately from monsters, bugs, and frogs. That makes sense. On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today, I outdid myself. Truly. I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. 
This recipe not only restores health, but it also keeps me warm, even when traveling in the snowy mountains. With this dish on my side, I no longer have need for that itchy warm doublet. I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down the very important recipe. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pepper. However, I simply cannot remember what else I used. My age is catching up with me. Sadly, on this lonely plateau, I only have my own knowledge and memory to rely on. Still, if I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm doublet. However, it seems unlikely that such a miraculous wish will ever be fulfilled. Lurk time! Very well, nerd boy. Appreciate you hanging out, keeping that lurk up. Alright, we have the woodcutter's axe again. We have more of those. He's got the hot pepper there. We need some kind of seafood and some kind of regular meat, right? I don't want to waste a whole bunch of ingredients if I don't have to. See, that looks like I should be able to, to pick those mushrooms there. Um, I think we can talk to him again because we finished cutting the tree down. If you're moved by any wild culinary inspirations, feel free to cook for yourself. Uh, got any tips? As the art of cooking captured your interest, I'm certain you have potential. Allow me to give you some pointers. Yeah. I had a had a guy come up from street level and uh, try to find directions to find something down the block. You can toss in anything edible. Thankfully, there are plenty of options in this area. Just remember that the more ingredients you use in a dish, the more health it will replenish when you eat it. Now then, is there anything else I can help you with? How about combinations? The idea is to mix heartier ingredients like fish and meat with things like grains and vegetables. Spices and herbs help too, naturally. However, I do not accidentally add in things like bugs and lizards. There we go. Let's just say they are not compatible. In fact, they are quite foul. Now then, is there anything else I can help, with, help you with? Effects? Certain ingredients have special effects, such as temporary war temporarily warming you up or increasing your stamina. If you use them when cooking, even a normal dish can be elevated to one with a special effect. Do note that combining bugs or lizards with monster parts may yield some unexpected results. In fact, that's how you make elixirs. Now then, is there anything else I can help you with? That should cover it for us. Try to consider how the ingredients will complement one another. You can even make a dish that increases your stamina. It's all about being creative and trying different things. Alrighty, so let's try this again. We'll open up our inventory here. Everything should be sorted, so we'll switch to hold mode. And do... Stamina Shroom. I don't know that adding apples to that is going to be helpful. <laughs> Link, you were supposed to cook it, not drop it on the floor. Don't add chicken, it will taste foul. Prism, why have you done this? All right, let's just try three, three different, or two different shrooms. Energizing mushroom elixir. Instantly refills or, uh, some of your stamina wheel. Simple mushroom packed skewer has color for presentation to thank for its appeal. Nice. All righty.
And we have some baked apples, so we could probably we could probably make some back baked apples since we're here. Um Book. Energizing honeyed apple. Instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. Juicy, sweet, and sour dish combining newly ripened apples with honey. Nice. Alright. The point of this, though, was to get to that shrine. So let's get back to the shrine here. I wonder if I can shoot those from over here. You know what must happen. To the pungent with you. Oh, man. Wait for it to get closer. Man, come on. Well, shoot. I'm just going to end up wasting a whole bunch of arrows that way, I think. So at this point... Let's head over this way. Dang it! I still woke them all up. wake them all up. I just wanted to take this guy out. The Boko bow we already have. Okay, next question. Can we sneak over here? Coffee is in fact not for breathing, correct. Coffee is not for breathing. Very important. Can I not interact with anything while I'm crouching? That's rude. Ow.
This was not the goal. Go, 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 go. It didn't. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yes, I found a chest. This is true. Ah! This is a horrible time. Get... Get up here. Maybe I couldn't interact with it before. I had to get rid of the book oblins. That seems like a horrible time. to do the smick. Seared steak. Raw meat cooked over an open flame. Cooking in it has increased the flavor and the number of hearts it provides. Excellent. Why are there just apples kicking around here? Do we have more arrows anywhere? Add rice to the list of not for breathing. True. True facts. Also, now I want to make some risotto for some reason. It's been a heck of a time. Heck of a long time since the last time I had risotto. And now I want some. Yeah. The Sheikah Slate is definitely something that I think I could make. Grabby hands for risotto. Is good stuff. Throwing spear. Specialized spear weighted to excel as a throwing weapon. Perfectly balanced to be thrown farther than your average spear. Able to pierce targets from a great distance. Ooh, fancy. Let's give it a test, shall we? No. No. I forgot about the bees! I forgot about the bees! No! I don't know how I'm supposed to fight bees. Is there a way I'm supposed to fight bees? Hmm. 
Did they leave me alone now? <laughs> Further than your average spear in Yogi Bear voice? There's a throwback. Wait. Where's the honey? Are you kidding me? I went to all that trouble to upset the bees and I didn't even get the honey? Rude. I'm offended. How do you fight bees? You run. Run. I have a feeling that I don't actually have the climbing strength to get across this way. But I'm gonna try anyway. Although, if I can access my food inventory from over here, I can refill my stamina bar. With some of the food that I just cooked. Just finished Minerva Den 100%. Nicely done, Psychotic Deer. Enjoy that screen time break. And thanks for hanging out while you did. Why is the tree making noise at me ominously? It is an ominous tree, I guess. Don't worry, their bark is worse than their bite. Listen, you. Ah! Man. I did not intend to use the freezing arrow there, but all right. Boko spear. Yes. Thank you for sending Prism to the Pungeon. There we go. That's what I was looking for. 
As an oftentimes resident of the Pungeon, get in the cell! Yes, very good. Very good. All right. I also love that the Boko Goblin spear is really just a, a stick. It's not even really that sharp on the pokey end. It's just a stick. This looks like a thing that I can bust up. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Magic sheep. Hey, more fire arrows. Nice. That looks like a very tall mountain there. We are gonna save. Always be saving. I don't know if it would save me stamina to jump my way up this mountain or not. Ah! Not like that. This is why we save. This is why. Wait, no! I love that you just realized. Amazing. Oof, okay. Resist the urge to just drive home from work. Party at my place? What? Why is there a party at my place? <laughs> it's under plethora of stuffed animals. Yes. An excellent choice. Return to the plushy realm. Why am I still climbing? This looks like it should be a thing. A place I can rest. Uh, clearly I am going the wrong direction. Currently I have confiscated the pillows from Ranger Sheem. You get five pillows? Broken legs. He gets one, I get five. 
I do not mean to steal bed, but I do. Shame. <laughs> shame. The shame. Uh, no! After cleanup, I will boot up my PC and join in on the gaming. What you gonna play? What you gonna play, Prism? But yes, I take way more stretch breaks than I think a lot of people do. I'm so sorry, that was too funny. It was pretty funny. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go to get up there. Can I go this way, maybe? It looks like there might be some ledges that I can rest on if I go this way. <laughs> Just, ah, no! As you plummeted into the abyss. Yes. I did a great job. <laughs> You're doing great. Okay. So if I go up here, it's not just a sheer cliff. And I can, like, take little rest breaks and stuff. That's good. There we go. Here we go. We are now in the correct place. I need... Hydrate! Thank you for the hydrate, Katie Crash. Hi, you'll be joining in the stream, Raiders, once you are able to sit down at your computer. Very well. I appreciate it. I am curious. So, I ended up getting put into the World Theater group. I'm curious what teams everybody got put into. Like, how many of you that play the Stream Raiders are also part of the uh, the World Theater group. Or if you got it put into different teams for the special event. Yes. How we doing, Katie Crash? Welcome back to Mountain Shade Village. Hope you're having a good one out there today. Also, Magic Sheep, thank you for the clip. If someone would be so kind as to put that into the Discord for me. <laughs> oh, you know. Hello. <laughs> yes. Hey, hopefully, you know, hopefully you're having some good moments out there. Many of us have a lot going on. So hopefully you're having some good moments, even if you've got a lot of challenging stuff going on as well. Watering the grass to make it green, you know, yes. Also a daily kethos? Cat? Oh, do you mean cat? Cat? Is that what you mean? Cat. No! What? Did I run out of stamina? What did I do? Yes. Kit. A-H-E-T. Kit. I was just climbing. I thought I had stamina left, man. <sighs> How far down am I? Alright, not all the way down, but down enough. Yes. I I figured out that I can rest on the plateaus, but... Because I tried to climb a sheer cliff a second ago. Um, like, just climb all the way up in one go. Obviously, that does not work. Uh, but we are going to work our abs here. And always be saving. Do, 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 do. There 
we go. And we're gonna save again. Because <laughs> I have no faith in my ability to get up this cliff. Um... Please go up. Link. Link, please go. Why are we crouching now? Why? There we go. The fact that Link is just out here bouldering. No big deal. I'm just gonna go up this sheer cliff without any equipment whatsoever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm good. I'm good at this rock climbing thing. We got it. No big deal. At work, Pixie Padlock, thank you so much for the lurk. Appreciate you having that tab up, even when you're out there doing your work adventures. Thank you so much for stopping in today. It's always wonderful to see your name out there in the chat. We are so close. So close. Fine. Diam. Oh, Oa Diam. Oa Diam. Um, system. Safe. Safe. I... I don't recognize what those lyrics go to. There is a link on the cliffside. Thought the wind, though the wind is strong on my skin, there's a link climbing high, bouldering that way. But Link knows where they've been. Not that one. You go away. This one. Alright, I guess we blow it up then. Hairspray. Hairspray. What? That didn't work either? Now my brain is just giving me options that are... Ben. You were waiting for me to blow myself up. You got it. <laughs> I know where I've been. Okay. Yes. Yes. I know where I've been. Admittedly, that is not a song out of that show that I know very well. I like that when my health is low, my entire body glows. 
as Link? Are you just gonna fly off the the cliff side here? That's the song my little gay ass would sing at McDonald's drive through getting my dollar fries and cheeseburger. I mean, a good option. Definitely a good option. That's all I wanted. All I wanted was to put the thing in the little gap there. Man, I don't have time for you skellies right now. It moved. It did move. It did move. I didn't know I was going to have to learn how to be an excavations expert here. Very rude. Okay, seriously. I have to be trying to solve this puzzle incorrectly. Right? This has to not be the answer. Maybe I'll get like a telekinesis skill inside this, and I'll be able to move stuff that's not metal objects. Or something like that. Although, if I can move metal objects, I feel like getting a telekinesis spell would be weird. The chest did, did not seem to be metal. It seemed to be like one of the stone ones. All right. Link equals Magneto. Magneto confirmed. Magneto. Magneto, yes. Stasis. Stop the flow of time for an object. Stop an no object in time while storing its kinetic energy. Stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use of stored energy can move the, even the largest of objects. Hmm.
<laughs> See you, game devs. Mm. Maybe you should give the new Kirby a try? I know Seamus was looking at playing it. Should be fun. Oh no! Well, oh, that didn't go well. I'm moving, I'm moving. Apparently I can't also run and do the do the thing. <sighs> but if you like, if you like the run around, uh, collection style stuff. Kirby might be a good time. Iron sledgehammer, that's fun. Oh, jeez. Left trigger moves the camera. Want a house that has the, that deep of a room? Just so cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool, huh? Alright. Traveler's shield. I still don't know... I don't know how to get... Kinetic energy on this... Boulder. Yeah. 
You stasis on it again? I think I saw a button command. Okay. Ah, there we go. Aha! I did, however, screw up my spear, so... I probably should have been using the uh, iron sledgehammer instead. But oh well. So we can attack to build up kinetic energy. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the time of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. May the Goddess smile upon you. Backflip? I didn't know I could backflip. Nice. Another traveler's bow. That's handy. Save. Clank, 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 clank. Temperature is getting dangerously low. Find warmth soon or you'll take damage. Fortunately, there is a fire just over here. Ugh. Excuse me, with the flaming club. All right, uh, we need some more food. I'm guessing that we just can't cook over a, an open flame. We have to use a uh, a cooking pot of some kind. Yeah. Nice. More arrows. Goblin horn.
I'm sad that there's no repair mechanic. Alright, it looks like there might be a bridge. If I go over this way. Maybe. I know, buddy. I know it's so cold. I know. I don't have any other equipment for you right now, though. What? What? <sighs> I jumped into the water! <laughs> I know you've never played this game. But here, I have this whole update. Run, Link. Run back to the fire. I wonder if I blow up the... the box over here. If there will be any equipment in it. Looks like no. Or if there was, it's way down there. It was an acorn. Not for nothing, but that's not what I wanted. I know. I know, buddy. I missed it live, but I saw you blow yourself up while cutting segments. Nice. I'm glad you saw it. Take this woodcutter's axe again. There's a little boat over there. Anxiety. Okay, come on. Give me the thing. Korok leaf. A single swing of this giant sturdy leaf can create a gust of wind enough to blow away light objects. We sometimes fall off of trees as they're chopped down. This sounds like something that would be useful to hang on to, you know. I guess we'll drop this other woodcutter, woodcutter's axe here. Best weapon, right after skeleton arm. You freeze to death in this water, great. Yes, I'm aware I need cold resistance equipment. I know. I know. All right, we are going to drop this really quickly here. Or drop the the other thing.
Drop. No. Dang it. Fake. I don't know how... There has to be a way to light a fire, but I don't know how to do it. Um, so... For the time being, I'm gonna go back over here to the... Oadiyam Shrine. And get ourselves over there. I do have a fire arrow, but I also have a piece of flint that I'm supposed to be able to use with, like, a steel weapon. Okay. I know... There has to be a way to get around, right? There has to be a way to get around. There's like a bridge over here, right? So let's... Put a marker over there. We're gonna fast travel over here to the shrine. Which should help. Prawn curry is your favorite quick meal? Boil the kettle, add water to the curry powder, have water boiling for rice, put rice on. Add peas to the curry sauce, and then after five minutes, add prawns to the curry. Five minutes later, serve the curry on the rice. Uh, use boiling bag rice to reduce the hassle of cleanup. Yeah. I bet, I bet you could even do all of that. Wait a minute. We have not been here before. Excuse me. No. Oh, this is where we came from. Okay. I was like, what are you talking about? No. This is where we came from. This was the very beginning. Okay. I was... I was ready to throw a fit. Yeah. This is where we were in the goo. Um, you know what, though? We did not have these powers... ...before. Really? That didn't throw it up in the air enough to break it? Alright, fine. Fine. I did. I just, I just do the smack. We smack with hammer. I need some food, though. <sighs> All right, so now, where am I now? Really impressed with the whole vibe here. The Discord is also amazing. Thank you so much, Smug. I put a lot of work into that Discord because one of the things that gets me about um, Discord communities, especially when it comes to, like, Discords for Twitch, right, is there can be a lot of noise, right? There's, there's a lot of conversations happening all at once, and it can be kind of difficult sometimes to keep track of what's going on. 
right? And so I like having the opt-in factor with my Discord. Um, incidentally, if uh, if you only see five channels on the Discord, there are more, uh, and you have not seen the entire community yet. So, if you would like more of the Mountain Shade Village discussions, make sure you have joined a guild, because I know that there are still some people who have not joined a guild yet, and there's there's way more to our community than just what's there. Wait a minute, the old man is still over here. Didn't we see him somewhere else? Why is he over here still? Some of us just stay in the pungent in case we get in trouble when venturing out. <laughs> yes. Old man is everywhere and every when? Yes. What is it? Seems there is no rest for the old and weary. What are you doing? I was just feeling a chill. A warm fire can do wonders for a weary soul. A campfire is a wonderful place to pass the time. Staring into these flames, it's easy to lose track of the hours. Ah, ignore my ramblings. Feel free to relax here for as long as you'd like. Um, I would actually rather cook some food, but apparently I can't do that over a campfire. That looks like a place I can go. Not where I'm trying to go right now, though. Kind gesture. Hey, Grove Walker, thank you very much for that cheer. I appreciate it. How have your adventures been out there in the world? Yeah, we need a pot. We need a pot to put over the fire. We don't have one yet, though. We gotta wait. Man, all of the acorns over here. Dang. Alright. So, at the moment, I'm trying to, like, go around enough. The cooking is like core keeper. Sort of, yeah. Missing this game? I'm enjoying it. This is my first time playing any Zelda game ever. So. Alright, also, in theory, I'm supposed to be able to dodge. Right? I don't know how, though. Doing good? Incident of sewage disrupted the morning, though. Well, I suppose it was. You said that was resolved, though, right? Think that skill comes later? Okay. We haven't we haven't learned it yet. We are not yet skilled in the ways of dodging. Where am I going? Green. I'm going over here. Also, I saw something that looked kind of like a boar, maybe? Yeah. Well, heck. I think it's when you're aiming. Oh, is it only a focus skill? Oh no, now we spooked two boars. Alright. Um. The boar did not put us to sleep. Alright, you. What? I disarmed myself. Oh, no. Hang on. Hang on. Not that one. Not that one. One of these days, I'm going to learn how the heck these controls work. How do I do the, like, lunge? That's cool. If 
By the time you learn, you'll be on a new game with different different controls, Ben. Look, you're right, but also, why do you have to crush my hopes this way? We got some arrows over here. Ooh, we got a cooking pot. I didn't want the... Torch! Nice. Why is it a melee weapon, though? I, I just saw old man get up. Did anybody else notice that? <laughs> yeah, if I still have a branch. I don't think I do. I have this Karak leaf. We can probably get rid of the uh, Bokoblin arm. Wait, where are you sneaking off to, old man? What are you doing? Where did my prey go? Maybe he's going to teach us how to hunt the boar. Yeah, there's always more skeletons to steal arms from. Can you not see that I'm hunting here? You'll scare off my prey like that. At least crouch down a bit. Shh, quiet now. Hunting demands a great deal of focus. Keeps your mind off how much your back hurts from crouching all day. Got any tips? First, crouch down and approach your prey quietly to ensure you are not being noticed. When you're close enough that de detection is nearly imminent, draw your bow and let your arrows fly. Aim thoughtfully, and you should be able to take down your prey with a single arrow. Courageous one, I see you have taken possession of my old bow. I didn't mean to. Now, let's see what you can do with it. I'm rather tired. Yes, I think I'm going to take a small break. Crouch just stands up to talk. Seriously, right? All right. <laughs> right? Time for a stretch break. I'm just gonna just gonna stand here and stretch while I talk to you. Get. Get! Prism! Curse you and your pun. Oh, right. I was trying to clear a melee... A melee spot so that I could... What? Excuse me. What is this strange creature? I mean, like that receding tan line. Will-o'-wisp? Well, it's rude. Journey versus a flower. Look, it's a magical flower. I am suspicious. Oh, hey, they're they're hunting a boar. Wow, they can spot me from a long way away. Maybe. 
maybe if I go over here, I can grab the boar from them. Really? I can't climb up the side of this thing? Alright. Alright, you. the poor flower alone. How dare you. All right. Got another horn. Oh, there we go. I was like, there should have been at least... I could have sworn that they took down a a boar. I would have expected there to be at least some treasure drop from the boar. Am I just not seeing it? And we got another opal. Nice. Prism, no! I have to send it back to you. Um, I forgot to fill the village well on the break. The village well is empty. Sadly. We have already done three today, so... You guys did pretty well. I was looking for... I was looking for treasure drop from the boar. Like, meat meat from the boar. Yes, the poor master. But we have a Boko Club here. A Boko Shield. Another Boko Club. And that's, like, it. There's no other... And I watched them take down the boar, so, like, I figured there would be boar meat around, but apparently not. Yeah, the, apparently they uh, they consumed it as soon as they caught it. Somehow. Anything interesting there? Not really. Okay, so we did already mark that. Um, I do need some food soon, though. What is over... What did we mark over there? I didn't even mean to! Crouching is a good way to hunt, yes. Can I hunt these other birds, like this pigeon over here? I can. Raw bird drumstick. Excellent. I don't remember how to... I don't remember how to quick change my...
ranged weapons. That's annoying. Blue Nightshade. Plant that grows in quiet areas of a high rule. At night, it gives off a soft glow. Cook it to increase your stealth. Down? No, down is the... Is the whistle. No! Listen, you. Listen, you. You jerk. I don't appreciate this. GB! How's it going, friend? I am liking it. We're having a good time. I am not good at it, but... I am at least getting through. Better now that you're here? Aww. I'm glad you're having a good day. I'm glad that you are able to have some good stuff going on. I definitely had the uh, prompt to take the arrow that was flying past me just now. So apparently, I can catch arrows in midair if I'm quick about it, which I find hilarious. But can you split arrows in twain? Not yet, anyway. Alright. You're Robin Hood now. Yes, there's a... There's a... Magic item in Dungeons and Dragons that um, allows you to be able to catch missiles as well. I forget what it's called. Got another opal. All right. Loves a missile snaring. There we go. There we go. Well, heck. Do, do, do. <laughs> Very long wall there. Lime Link. Lime. Was there nothing over here? Did I just maybe this was a placeholder mark? Do, 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 do. Got another lizard. We just sneak up and we grab the lizard. 
This looks like it might be useful. Just try pushing it. What do you mean, just try pushing it? <laughs> what do you mean, just try pushing it? Who just pushes the rock? The op, like the poor squeal that happens. I'm gonna have to climb back up here, aren't I? Hey, rude. It is very windy. Are you seeing how windy this is? Why is it so windy in here? Oh my goodness. Ooh. Fire barrels. Big kaboom. I came all the way down here, and now I just need to go back up. This was the wrong choice. This was the wrong choice. In case anybody was curious. When was it the right choice? I mean, we were making some progress. Also, hello, Death. Welcome into Mountain Shade Village. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Just times you end up in a windy cavern, yes, apparently. Because the thing is, I'm trying to get over to that bridge. So much running. Headed to that blue marker so that we can get across this little bridge that's here, it looks like. And this might actually be a short enough clip that I can, or cliff, excuse me, that I can just climb it, but it's hard to tell. And there's a little treasure box over there, it looks like, too. I wonder if it's metal. Are you metal? Been playing Kirby? How you like it? How you liking it so far? More than anything, watching people play Kirby reminds me of Katamari Damase. And playing Katamari when I was in college. As I had friends who enjoyed PlayStation. You want to hear some metal? Oh, uh, I triggered the lyrics in uh, Magic Sheep's brain. Thank you for that. Mm. 
What? Pick up? Why can I pick this up? Weird. Okay. What? Have you heard of the Grand Craftopia? I have heard of it if I have not played it. Um, may have broken one of my players on Saturday. They got teleported into the future, or so they think. And he sent a letter to his sister who responded, After all that happened, and you choose now to contact me? Everyone else was. Do you want to find out what's going on with your sister? He says, No. I have had enough family drama over the last two weeks. Oh, no. It's a Korok! Hey, little guy! Is that what this is? Alrighty. Uh, we'll see. Huh? You're not Hestu? But you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hestu, please t return this to him. Korok seed. Small seed given to you by a Korok. It's a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. The magic flower was one of these? Okay. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. Uh, okay. Thanks, I guess. Interesting. You play Craftopia on Xbox? I play so many crafting games, like, it's... ...difficult to choose. Sometimes. Oh, it's in game preview. All right, I got you. Do I have stamina food? I probably don't. Oh, I have this one, okay. Seems kind of a waste to eat it right now, but. Better than falling you to death. It's it's true. It's very true. Journey means a Korok. Yes. I can clip. You did. You did do a clip. Thank you for the clip. I know you have struggled with it previously, that the interface wouldn't let you do the things. Yeah! Oh, we're back into cold zone. Again. Of course. These guys have a fire over here. That would be helpful if they did. But no, of course not. Welcome back, Apollo! How we doing? I'm getting fired at here. Can we not? Ow! Ow! Listen, you. Listen, you. Come here. I give you good smack. I give you good smack. I hear arrows around me. Mm -hmm. 
Are you kidding me? Come here, you. Goodbye. It just went through him! Did you see that? It just went through him. It didn't even push him. I'm very mad. I'm very mad. The audacity. Correct, Deaf Bison? What? No, you come here. Not change bow. Ah, okay. So I need to have the bow already equipped. And then I can... Okay, cool. And we can do the hot swap. Perfect. Breath of the Wild is going pretty good. We're having a good time with it so far. We're learning some things. We're doing some things. We're dropping some boxes on stuff. You know, a good time. Baked apple, excellent. So to make baked apple, do I just have to cook only apple? Is that what I'm doing here? Much wild, so breath, yes. Well, that didn't work. The ingredients of a baked apple. Baked and apple. Dang it. And just throw it in a fire? Maybe. Although now I do want to try making some simmered fruit for myself. More amber. Yes, my, my thing is already sorted. Mm, ash covered apple, yes. Sounds like something, uh, sounds like something I could make in Skyrim in the Solstheim area. All right. Cooking is good, cooking is good. Just generally. A great time. Listen, you. I don't want to play with you. Wait, the bridge is broken? Taking damage from the cold again. Very rude. Maybe I just need to go back. Because it is chilly. Oh, there's a fire over here. We can use this fire. Wait a second. Ooh, we found some hot peppers, too. Awesome. 
Oh, hey, I never did pick up that torch the other place. Spicy pepper! This pepper is exploding with spice. Cook it. Cook with it to create dishes that raise your body temperature and help you withstand the cold. Good deal. Yes, for the internal burning. Exactly. Okay. All right, I hear you up there. There has to be a way to, like, activate that little ramp there. Can I just shoot it with an arrow, maybe? Ooh, soldier's broadsword. That looks useful. Try lighting the torch? Try lighting the torch. That's useful. I'm shooting the rope. What rope? Oh, like up at the top? Like up here? I just, like, slapped him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come here. Come here, I'm beating your butt. Come here. Ow! Get in the tree! I needed to. Sheesh. Okay, let me try again. Yeah, he, he lit the stick on fire and hit me with it. Which leads me to believe... He did, he used a torch. That's exactly what he did. However, this does mean that I can probably, uh, actually I'm going to go over here. I'm going to drop this extra spear over here. Wait, that's not what I wanted. 
Ah! Did anybody else catch that, like, pool cue shot? That was nice. Apparently I cannot set the place on fire as much as I want to try. Yes, I know the bridge is back up. I know the bridge is back up. one of the pepper plants. I didn't mean to do that. Ow. Died so many times last night, but saving uh, makes it feel like it isn't so bad. Rewrite of a Buffy song. Oh dear. Even spicier pepper. It has exploded. It's spicier pepper. Aha! Kaboom! All of your buddies are dying, but not the one up top there. I saw more arrows come my way. I would like to pick them up, please. big blue one hiding in the background over here like I'm not gonna get him While you refill... Hydrate. Very well. I can hydrate. No. No. Stop. Where did he go? Excuse me. I almost grabbed my caffeinate. Not my hydrate. Goodness, already. He's dead, Dave. He's not! I can see his life bar. Don't lie to me like that. Come here. 
Give me your buddy. Stomping around over there. Come here. Come here. You know you're going to c come back over here. There you are. Come here. Blue one is strong, yeah. 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 We get him, though. We get him. And then we come back down here and, uh, and cook. Link, what is this posture? What is this? some more amber and some more arrows wait take oh book up one horn okay anything else I think that's it Is that everything? What? I could climb? What? What? Okay. Alrighty. Let's make some more recipes here. Fried wild greens. Nice. We've got a new thing for steamed mushroom, which will give us lots of health back. Nice. We keep running into old territory, so I think making a bunch of different stuff with the hot pepper is going to be useful. Spicy pepper seafood. Nice. And there was the thing What was the We do have some bird meat. Let's give that a try here. It is not quite the tool time music, but it is very close. It is very close, Prism.
Yes. I remember that the old man had the, uh, the thing for us to do. The spicy... I put the spicy pepper in with the mushroom and it just gave me a regular mushroom skewer. I have been deceived. Deceived. Mushroom may have canceled it out. De deception! And also now, uh, all I can think of is uh, the, the song from Lion King 2. Deception! Disgrace! Uh, but I do need some more... We need some more warm food. Because we're about to go into a snowy place. So maybe we just do two mushrooms and two spicy peppers, maybe. It can only have one effect besides health. Okay. So I can't do both stamina and... All right. Heat res or uh, cold resistance. So the acorn just adds adds a heart, basically. <laughs> Spicy fruit and mushroom mix, which we've done before. Yes, I know Google Speaker, you cannot connect to the network because I had to reset everything. You're okay. I don't know why you just decided to activate, but it's fine. Glad I'm enjoying the game. We are just getting into it, but we are certainly making some progress. I, I'm i a huge sucker for survival open world games. So, like, this hits that same kind of vibe in a lot of ways. So, I like that a lot. Energizing steamed mushrooms. Eight hearts. Less than a quarter of my stamina. I just wanted... I wanted something that was actually going to boost my stamina, but okay. Anybody remember what I made for the elixir to make the stamina elixir? Because I don't. I think it was this.
Or a frog. There we go. Alright, so at least I've got a couple of the energizing elixirs. That'll help. We save. Why does it default to cancel? The way it, like, dances in the skillet is hilarious to me. Ah, these fridge pickles are so good! Alright. I do still need a little bit of actual food that I can eat here. There we go. You can only have one effect going at once. Yeah, that makes sense. Given the, uh, the way the food reacts. You want to tell me all the things? I appreciate your... You're resisting. All right. Didn't want you to waste it after all that cooking. Oh no! Help! <laughs> I need to fall in. Okay, let's see what I forgot to save. Tip, cold water is cold, yes. Cold water is cold, imagine. Um, alright, this way. This is the way I need to go. There we go. No, don't fall. Do, 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 do. What? I do not like that directional control. A horrible time. Um, this way, I bet. All 
All right, we're gonna get this last shrine here. If I can. And then, it is about that time. <laughs> My heart skipped a beat when you almost fell off just before finishing. Yeah. Like, the same. <laughs> same. Ooh. This looks neat. Look at that. That's so cool looking. All right. On task. On task. We go zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. All right. Do I need to climb now? This would be way easier if I had warm clothes, but I elected not to do that. Ah. Ick. I I love that they just want to throw everything at me though. That's a fun time. And I got some more meat here that I can gather. Yes, thank you. Now I have Nightmare Before Christmas in my head. Yes, the shrines have given me power to get things nearby, but now I want to see... I want to see if I can do the thing... before I get the thing. <laughs> Look! Look! I never said it made sense, okay? But see how it's getting closer to the side? So, like, if I shoot it with enough arrows... I'll be able to get it from the other side of the pond, right? <laughs> Who said I was patient? We're all doing the thing. <laughs> Shoot it with enough arrows, you get a box full of arrows. If it works, it's flawless. See? Exactly. Exactly. Do 
to you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Kenamut. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Use cryonis and on an ice pillar to break break it. Very well. Lurk for strong leggy. Very well. Have good strong leggy. I can build it under me perfectly. Except then I jump off of it. Instead of... <sighs> Alright. Listen. Listen here, you. Why did I just get the hidden location sound? What? Alright. Alright. to lift the, the gate. It's the you did it sound? Just walk away. Yeah. Obviously. We got another traveler's sphere that's or spear rather. That's good. Um Oh the spider jumped down. Shoot. No, no! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Go away. Nah! I didn't want to fight you. Rude. You must fight! Why? Ancient spring. Am I going to have to make some weird doohickey?
Is that is that it? Is that all of them? All right. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. I love that every time he like tries to catch the spirit orb, even though it's gonna hit him in the chest. You have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Extraordinary. It means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first, imagine an X on your map with four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines will cross, there I will be waiting. Great! I'm, I'm frozen and you just left! And you had a coat for me! You couldn't... Couldn't maybe... Have had that conversation before you heckin' left? Sir. Nice! New Skyrim mod. I mean, I would be shocked if this did not exist as a Skyrim mod. Also, hello, low level. How you doing out there? Lovely to see you back in Mountain Shade Village, friend. How's things? I hope you're doing well. Alright. We have our new... We have our new thing. I missed! Dang it! Excuse me, sir. I exist to be rude. I mean, I have I have come to expect no further uh no no different in terms of humor from our lovely friend Low Level. This is this is his entire Twitter feed. Is is jokes like this. All right. I am getting annoyed. We make ice bridge. Yeah. All right. 